Right, so there are only two things in life that you can really complain about. You can either complain about things you can control, or you can complain about things that you can't control. Now, if you can control it, well then, control it. Do something about it. Take action. Stop throwing pity parties and feeling sorry for yourself. Just get off your rear end and do something to change the situation. Stop complaining. And the other thing you can complain about are things that you can't control, things that are just beyond your control. You know, it rains on your wedding day, you're stuck in traffic, uh, maybe you're too short to play basketball. Well, you know, these things are beyond your control. You can't stop the rain, you can't speed up the traffic, and you can't you know, make yourself grow, unfortunately. These are things that are beyond your control. Well, if they're beyond your control, well then just stop complaining. You can't do anything about it anyway. But you can change your attitude, right? You can embrace the rain. You can listen to a podcast while you're stuck in traffic. You can say, hey, maybe I'm not supposed to be a basketball player, but man, I'd make one hell of a jockey. Either way, stop complaining. There's no reason to complain. Either take action or change your attitude. Now, years ago, a bunch of people were complaining. They were stuck at an airport in the Caribbean and they had to fly to the mainland and uh, the flight had been canceled. And these people were whining and complaining and fussing and we got to get to the mainland, we got appointments, we got things, we got deadlines, we got connections. But one person wasn't complaining. One person was going around the airport trying to find a charter plane that might be available. He found one and he figured out how much it was going to cost, divided it by 30, approached these whiny complainers and said, hey look, if you guys come up with this money, we can charter this plane, we can fly to the mainland tonight. All 30 people agreed, they got the plane in the air, and they all got home that evening. And that was the first flight of Virgin Airways. You see, people like Richard Branson don't complain. They don't whine. They don't fuss. What they do is they look at the things that other people complain about and call problems, and they see them as opportunities. That's how Richard Branson thinks. He doesn't complain. You don't have to either. Hey, here's your next video. Now go do something big.